Hey, welcome back. Today, we're going to learn how to make another really cool Christmas um, decoration tea light candle holder. It's going to be super cool. I like the design, and I'm going to teach you how to make it really great. So just follow along, and let's get started. All right, here are the things you're going to want for building this candle holder. First of all, you're going to need the designs, which um, you can just pause the video right here, screenshot those designs. They have all the information. Um, you're going to want some drill bits. Uh, you're going to need a hammer and a few nails, uh, more than you know, four nails at least. Um, you're going to want sandpaper, and an electric sander is very nice. I even used a belt sander just because my wood was very rough. A drill of some sort is necessary, and a drill press is very nice. I used a bandsaw for the cutting. A jigsaw works just as well. Of course, uh, you're going to need a piece of wood, no thicker than three quarter of an inch. You're going to want a rule and a pencil and tea light candles. Also, you're going to want some varnish or lacquer if you if you like to varnish or lacquer your uh, wood. Okay, my piece of wood is a little bit rough. I want to sand it down, make sure it's flat. You can probably see there a little bit just how um, bowed it is. I want to just sand it down get it flat. A planer would work great for this, but we don't have one, so this works as well. Let's go ahead and just drop the design onto my piece of wood. Okay, so now that I know where I need to drill my holes, I'm going to start by drilling the 40 millimeter hole uh, for the tea light candle to set in. I'm going to drill it about halfway through this probably just so that it's nice and deep enough so that it's not going to go anywhere. That's the smallest or almost the smallest bit we're going to use. So that's a 40 millimeter which is just, um, just under two inches. I'll give you the exact stuff in the information. Let me get the depth here first that I want a little bit deeper than that. Lift the table. Looking good. Again, I've made sure my bit's not going to dig into the table at all, and I'm going to be drilling into another piece underneath my candle holder. Second one's good. All right, now at this point you should have two of these, and then you should have a piece of wood with two big holes in them, and these have little tea light holes, just like that, perfect. So if you have that, let's keep going and finish. So the center of these smaller holes will be for the uh, curve. I haven't written out the rest of the curve yet, just because it'll be easier to do that once I have these two holes drilled. I'm gonna drill all the way through, same sort of thing again. Um, and have a piece of wood underneath. It looks great. Okay, let's write on the rest of the design so then we can cut it out. Good. Always be safe and wear safety glasses. Alrighty, once you've cut it into a rectangle, just stop right there. Just wait a minute. Because there's another step that we need to do right now while it's kind of in a... I mean, we could do it after we cut these angles. It's not a big deal. But we want to drill in straight into here so that it has that rotating effect. So that when these are here, they can be flat on the table or else they can be rotated upright like that. So we're going to drill those holes now for the nail. Um, and right now, just since it's rectangle, it should be easy to cut straight holes. So let's do that. So the more accurate you are with measuring this so that it's perfectly in the center of this circle, it's way better if you're, you're more careful with that. Otherwise, this will be out of center and it could not even fit in here when you try to put it in. So that's just important to try to get. It takes a few tries. I just measured, personally I just measured here, 
figured out exactly where it hit the edge of the center first, just as a straight measurement like that, um, and then figured that measurement and put it down here. It's going to be different for all of you a little bit depending on how perfect these cuts were. Um, so just try to get that as center as possible, and if it's not perfectly centered, it'll be a little bit tough. Cut the rest of this out. So our light's fading fast, but one of the important things to do with this is just hand sand it all around these edges and curves that you've cut, just to make sure they're nice and how you like it. Um, you know, I didn't get them perfectly cut, but they're pretty close. With a little bit of sanding, they can look really, really good. So that's almost it. Like, a little bit more drilling and a little bit more sanding and stuff to do, and then it'll be done. I'm happy. It's looking great. Alrighty, let's go ahead and drill the holes in the round pieces. This is one of the harder things to get it um, accurate and correct. Oh, dear. Let's do it. So I found the best way to do it is to put some cardboard around the round piece, um, and then put the round piece in there so that it's even on all, all edges and then just drill out one hole and drill out the other one without twisting it at all. It works great. It's important to make sure that it's flush on top and bottom here. Boom. As easy as pie. All right, now I, I can make sure I have it lined up with some certain lines here so I know which side is up and down and stuff. So that's good. We're going to sand these down really good and then put them in there with the nails. All right, here's a moment of truth. We're going to put this nail in. Everything's sanded nice on the inside. The outside's not quite sanded yet. So I just want to, I don't know if I can do this with my fingers or not. I want to be gentle on it because I don't want to split this at all. So. Theoretically, this one should be lined up almost perfect over here, right? Yeah, looks like it might be. Wow, that is cool. Depending on which way is up, we can just twist them and twist them back as soon as we want to light the candles, just like that. That's, that's cool. I think it turned out really good. And they're decently flat, actually. Like, this one's not perfect, but the, this one is, like, almost perfectly level. I'm going to sand this down a little bit more, make it perfectly flush, and the back a little bit more, get these rough parts off, and then sand around the edges. I'll cut off these nails. I think it, they'll just be fine like this. Cut them off and then sand them perfectly flush, and that will be great. Grinding off the nails. After a lot of work and a lot of sanding, I think we're almost done. And that's pretty much it. That is a very cool candle. I love the design. It looks really cool, especially when the candles are lit and even with them not lit with it sitting upright. So thanks a lot for watching this. I hope you learned something from it. Hopefully you made it. If you did make it, be sure to let me know. And comment down below if you want to see any other candle holders, how to make them and stuff. You can go check out um, the last candle holder video I did not too long ago. Or I guess it was a while ago, but it's still a pretty cool one. So, yeah. Anyways, thanks a lot, and I will see you next time. Bye.